Hi Jurgen, welcome to this new edition of Energy Market News. Hi. The G20 summit was held uh, early December um, and um, a ceasefire between the United States and China uh, was announced. Will the dust settle? Uh, just a few days ago, uh, the CFO and daughter of the owner of Huawei, the Chinese uh, provider of cell phones, was arrested in Canada on an outstanding warrant from uh, the US. This is definitely not going to be helping uh, the relationship between China and the US forward. We also see imports and exports with, uh, for China dropping we see is the long-term bond yield uh, for on 10 years in the US, which has now dropped back below the 3%. Uh, percent. Uh, it's now at 2.85% uh, again, uh, which would mean that the confidence in the future is starting to wane and it's starting to uh, look a little bit uh, more, uh, more dark uh, towards the future. What about the Brexit? Uh, an agreement was just signed between the European Union and the UK. Um, does that mean that we're heading for a soft Brexit? This still has to be ratified and so far uh, both the Scottish, the Irish, the opposition and their own government of, uh, of uh, Premier May have all been uh, uh, sending out very negative signals. The OPEC countries uh, met earlier in December as well. Uh, what was the outcome of that meeting? There was an agreement uh, between especially then uh, Russia and Saudi Arabia. Uh, so uh, OPEC countries would be uh, cutting with about 800,000 barrels a day mm -hmm. and Russia with about 400,000 barrels a day for a total of 1.2 million starting from uh, 1st of January. And this is definitely a more of a, a support, uh, support signal or a, a little bit bullish signal for, um, for oil prices. Now let's have a closer look at the gas market. Uh, the temperatures outside are higher than uh, average this time of year. Uh, can we expect the prices to drop? So of course, uh, due to the lower oil prices, uh, which uh, I forgot to mention, they, uh, they, they came un until about $58 a barrel, which was definitely a new minimum, with six to seven degrees above seasonal averages. Uh, even gas prices have starting to come have started to come off. And at the same time, we've had um, the Asian LNG prices, prices which have um, dropped quite a bit, which enables a lot of energy to come into Europe. So the supply, at least in the short term, is quite secured. Also, if you look at uh, the storage, pri the storage is uh, for gas all over Europe. They are all um, pretty much at a higher level of the, than the last two years. Cal 19, for instance, TTF is already at, at 22 euros a megawatt hour, down already one and one and a half uh, euros uh, from uh, last month. Last week we also got good news from the electricity market um, and uh, Dual 4 will uh, be reconnected to the grid uh, this week. That means more production capacity in Belgium. So definitely a good piece of news. It has pushed Cal19 uh, base load prices for Belgium uh, probably today below 60 euros a megawatt hour. I don't think the market will correct much, much, much further for the simple reason that uh, any um, bad news on weather or uh, any other uh, day ahead prices that uh, tend to spike uh, will uh, probably keep that forward price quite high. Thank you very much for this update and we're looking forward to the next episode. Thank you.